All right. Hi, everybody. Super S here. Um, with a treat, Cuphead DLC has finally been released, and I am here to play it. Um, Cuphead was the first game that I ever streamed, and it was really an important experience for me. I think doing something really new, strange for me to do something in a public, um, and went on to enjoy streaming. And it changed the way that I played video games. I kind of think I took more pleasure in the difficulty of things and trying to figure things out. Um, but I'm recording the DLC, um, and again, I'm going to try to be calm and soothing. Uh, the original idea was kind of a Bob Ross playthrough of this frustrating game, which turned out to be pretty frustrating, but um, I really, really enjoyed the experience. So um, I think the original playthrough took something like 12 hours, if I remember right, and you know, it was, it's quite difficult. And I went on to actually get quite good at the game, started speed running it, but not any sort of competitive anything. That, but I, I think I've beaten the game faster than 50 minutes. I think the world record is like 20 or 30 minutes. But uh, you know, going from 12 hours to you know, less than an hour, it's it's, it's interesting. Practice and, and things like that. Anyway, I've rambled enough. Let's um, let's try this game. Uh, so I've played. Uh, loaded it up just to make sure everything works. Uh, I think I know uh, what's going on. The legendary chalice has an urgent message for you. Find me on the coast cups. All right. Oh, all right. So, yeah, like I said, I've been playing this game on and off through the last couple of years, and you know, I don't know. I'm decent at it. I'm decent. Um, so we'll see how hard the DLC is compared to uh, all the practice that I've had with the original base game. The legendary Chalice bid me carry a message to you. She needs your help. A far off eye on a mysterious discovery. But awaits. Let us depart. Yes, please. Let's do this. Uh, what a fantastic game. Um, I, I, I think everybody loves the art, you know, and the music is so fantastic. What could Legendary Chalice be looking for all the way out here? God, Cuphead, I don't know. I hope she's okay. We sure are far from home. Jumping jelly beans, you boys made it. I have the most amazing news, and it all has to do this here cookie. Take a bite and see for yourselves. It worked. It really worked. I'm alive again. Yeah. But now I'm a ghost. Alright. So Chalice has sort of tripped Mugman here. What's going on here? Everything's gone topsy-turvy. Follow me, boys. I can explain everything. For ages, I've been trying to find a way to escape the astral plane, but nothing worked. Till now, boys, let me introduce you to Chef Saltbaker, greatest chef in all the lands. Bakers of fine bread, pies, tarts, torts, pastries. Welcome, friends. Welcome to my bakery. Ah, Miss Chalice, I see my cookies work wonders on you. Oh, my stars. Oh, it's temporary. I'm a ghost again. Oh my, a finicky thing that could be the taste is sweet, but the effect is brief. Fret not, though, my concerned little cups. I've caught with an amazing new recipe. Wonder tart. One bite of this wonder tart, and you'll have complete control over the astral plane. Is this some kind of a new mechanic, or is it maybe just like swapping her in? This wonder tart could bring Chalice back to life for good. No swapping places or nothing. We 
indeed just one problem. Oh, it's the MacGuffin. The recipe requires exceptionally great intel by the most fearsome of foes. Well, if the Wonder Tart is what it takes to bring Chalice back to life, then by golly, we'll find those ingredients. I was kind of wondering how they would motivate an adventurer after we dealt with uh, the devil. Stay on your guard, intrepid cups. Fetching those ingredients will be a test of wit and will. But remember, like any good bake, heart and soul is the secret ingredient. Um, all right, so let's see what we've got. I haven't really played this, uh, this whatever, 200% in a while. And I haven't played Cuphead in a while. Let's see. Um, I know that back when I played Originally, I really hated the lava, but I've come to enjoy the lava. Um, and I always liked the roundabout. Worry not, I keep perfecting this recipe while you're out and about. I just know you'll put yourself fully into bringing the Wonder Tart to life. The fabled ingredients are waiting for it. Hmm, now, where did I put the salt? All right. Um, one more thing, chaps. Remember to equip that nifty cookie charm in the menu if you want battle as Miss Chalice. All right? Sure. Astro cookie. Oh, you actually have to replace something else. Gain access to her, oh, her double jump, dash parry, and invincible roll. And it looks like there's two more ch um, charms. All right, let's try Miss Chalice with a super. Familiar, who would take one hit? I don't, I don't even remember these things. One, one of them was like invincibility, right? I don't I have no clue. Um, yeah, I really liked Chaser when I first played here. Ooh, it looks like there's three new weapons. All right. Um, the audio is super quiet. And it was really loud on the title screen. I'm going to kick it up a bit. Seems. Well, let's go one more. God, the music. The music in this game is so good. Recipe for Miss Chalice. Okay, so now we're Miss Chalice. So it looks like her dash may parry. Yeah, her, her dash automatically parries. Um, it's just telling us about the normal stuff. So let's see. So I should have jumped up. Um, <laughs> so there's a... This game, this game is really something special. Uh, this little tutorial has a coin reward, and it looks like because she's got a double jump. Oh, I can just jump up. Let's see if we can chain and stuff. Oh, uh, I'm supposed to be reading something. Parrot flavor. Just a dash will do. Double jump. Dodge roll. Ooh. Oh, she's invisible when she dodges. All right. So she can dash and do the jump. So jump, dash, jump. That works. I assume I need to dodge roll this. And, and then we need to dash to that. Nope. Let's see. Maybe two, two jumps and a dash. Oh. Alright, so new controls have taken a little bit of getting used to it, but <clears throat> extra, extra, Chef Salt Baker awarded best baker in all the lands. Oh, you're them cups. What took out the, you? What took out the devil, ain't ya? Sile's tough, but if you sit that empty packing, you got suitcases to spare. 
Come here, pals. Take a little moolah for doing the world a favor. Three more coins. All right, so where's the shop? Could, could be a boss already. Let's see if we can find the shop. Alright. Crack shot, straight shot. Good damage, breaks into weaker aimed projectiles. Heart ring, parry for hit points. Whoa. Converge. Full screen piercing three way shot. Hold lock button to narrow spread. A simple bauble of unknown origin. Maybe that sounds interesting. Rapid fire shot with art, halfway, and average damage. So if we want one of these new weapons, can't get this broken relic, but I actually kind of want the relic. Let's uh, save up for the weapon. Um, yes, yeah, so I was saying it's when I first played through, I thought the lobber was horrible. I don't think I ever used it. Um, turns out the lobber was like, first of all, it was OP for, for speed running, but it was a bug in the original version. Um, but it's actually quite nice because it's one of the few things that like goes down in the long distance. Um, and so I've come to really love it. And audience at last, the climb contest metal ceremony is about to begin. I always win. I'm downright awesome. They think they're better than me. They can stick it right up their nose. I may have gotten second place, but I think I did all right. Huh, what do we have back here? Ha-ha! <laughs> all right. Finding secrets already. Now we can get a weapon. Uh, let's see what makes what sounds interesting. Crack shot, straight shot. So I, I like the pea shooter. Straight shot with good damage breaks into weaker aimed projectiles. You can change them after you shoot. Let's, let's try the crack shot. Okay. And Broken Relic. I guess if we use Broken Relic, we can't use Miss Chalice. Does this mean there's five bosses? Let's 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 give her a shot. Oops. Gnome way out. Glumstone the giant. All right, here we go. Here's a real high class belt. You're up. All right, so how does this weapon work? Kind of looks like. It's auto aiming after it shoots. So kind of like the roundabout plus the so and so. This feels a lot like um, this feels a lot like the the boat boss. Oh yeah, she's got a double jump. Man, that's. So this is like chaser plus roundabout. I feel like this this is really powerful because I don't have to aim aim in here. Um, oh, well, I jumped up to use this. I wanted to see what this would do. And uh, got hit. Can I pair? I wonder if I can pair that X. Oh, that was quite loud. Can she not parry? Maybe she can only parry by dashing. 
Um, that's, that's another really funny thing. When I played through, I, I was so bad at parrying. And maybe I still am, because I can't seem to parry. But yeah, I think she can only parry by dashing. Oh. So I can shoot, and then, and then dash, and it attacks. Very interesting. All right, let's um. Boy, that record scratch is a little bit loud. I feel like that's a that's a little buggy work. Wait, why do I have four hit points? Do I have? Why do I have four hit points? Okay, so it looks like the geese. You just need to stay down, and this one on the left is always down. No, not always. So the second stage is what's gotten me uh, a couple times. Oops. So you can see him crawling underneath, and then. Uh... Okay, well, the, the dudes on the left and right will take damage, so I really messed that up. Um, you can see him crawling underneath, so you know where they're going to appear. Even before the little uh, the wiggle, I don't know how I'm getting this help. Let's um, let's switch to Cuphead. Just uh, see what's going on here. Unless, yeah. So let's let's do Broken Relic. Um. My guess is that this doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Um, but it's it's uh, pretty nice not having to worry about damage. So let's see, let's see. So yeah, maybe she has an extra hit point. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not being able to double jump has uh, confused me. Alright, so parry that sends it flying. Um, I've also changed my controls from how I used to play um, as part of the speedrun, and honestly, I haven't used them enough to be super familiar. Alright, so the, so the ball actually goes left and right. I see it now. So I can, I know who's going to have the ball if I pay attention. I hadn't seen that before. And I wonder if they send it where you are. Oh, that record scratch. Um, I actually thought that the beard was spikes, but it looks like you can. Oh, that's bad. You can totally stand on their gnome hats. I guess you just ah okay, so it's like um, it's like that third stage in uh, Celeste. Now, it's funny, I expected to be able to double jump. Um, yeah, the third stage in Celeste where. Basically, when you touch it, you're okay, but then they pop out. All right, so the guy on the right has the ball. So as long as I stay on the the side away, he doesn't. Sit, well, no, maybe not. I don't quite understand where they throw the ball.
Okay, so phase three, what do we got going on here? Okay. I assume the water's bad and the food is bad. Oh. Give up now is my suggestion, lest you give me indigestion. Um, this is interesting because if I had Chalice, she'd be able to double jump across. Um, she gets an extra hit point. Maybe we should just go back to her. I don't... I'm really... I, I'm really curious about this broken relic. Like maybe you power it up by attacking something. But, uh, let's try. Let's try with Miss Chalice. So yeah, double jump. It's weird that you can't parry the way that you've been able to parry in the game. But it's also kind of an interesting. It's an interesting choice because. Um, it's like not a big change, but it's enough to sort of make it interesting. And I think her X sort of goes vertical, right? So maybe, maybe we don't want that. Oops. Maybe I should stay close to the ball. They throw it over my head. Ouch. I wonder if they have collision. All right, so now he's going to eat us. Such good animation. And theoretically, we just need to sort of shoot and avoid getting hit. I, mean, I guess that's the whole game. Ah, that resets the platforms. Okay. need to pay attention to where where that thing the pink thing is gonna come up here oh that's a shame um, second phase seems like the hardest That's not good. I wonder if you do more damage by parrying that or allowing it to attack. Let's see if we can hit them vertically. And again, I also... Oh gosh. I wonder if you do more damage by allowing the original blast to hit or allowing it to break up. Probably the original blast. Maybe they don't have pollution. Oh, well. Um, one of the fantastic things about this game, trying to take the right mindset, is each life is a learning experience. You, you can gain some kind of knowledge, you sort of get work on your strategy. Okay, the food. Okay, I wonder if double jump resets my dash. So, dash, dash, double jump. Dash, jump. It does. Jump. I'm just, just trying this out. Let's see. Dash, jump, dash. It does. So it really it resets it. Which is kind of surprising. Dash, jump. Yeah, look at that. Let's, um, let's retry. So, you can actually dash twice 
if you do the right order. I assume you can't dash twice if you don't. Yeah. So that lets you cover quite a bit more distance, uh, which will be useful in the third, the third phase. Second phase seemed a lot easier when I used my super at the beginning. So let's try to get super in the first bit and do that. Let's, let's also try the strategy where we stay on the ball side. Because that seems to be working quite well. They always throw it away above us. Or over us, that is to say. <laughs> didn't, didn't quite work that time, huh? Uh oh. All right, we'll get another crack at this last phase here. But yeah, each time through this, right, we're going to learn something about how it works. We've learned that the meat... Okay, yeah, so the meat causes the platforms to disappear, but the bone causes the bell... the bells to appear. So we can anticipate... Um, where to pay attention to, you know, where to get in position for. This first phase is pretty straightforward. It's satisfying. Get more super. Woo. Oops. Whoa. All right, that's seems to do pretty good damage. We've got three HP going into this last phase, so... We have a pretty good chance, if I pay attention. Okay, so that's going to disappear, it's going to disappear, and then that one is going to be a platform. And you can actually land back on it. Okay, so this is... I think I got this. Easy. We just keep resetting. And then nothing. Nothing's, no, it's no problem. Um, two achievements: alive and kicking, and the latest sensation. Oh, that's quite wow! Jesus. All right, A plus. Oof. Oof. We are wrong. Uh, Fantastic. Um, we've got the known berries. Okay, so right, because we're collecting ingredients for this thing. So, I don't even remember. How did you unlock expert in the original? Maybe you have to beat the game first to beat, beat the island. Um, uh, I want to see the achievements. Alive and kicking, defeat a boss with Miss Chalice. And defeat a boss with one of Pork Ryan's new weapons. That was the latest sensation. Alright. This weapon is great. I mean, it, it takes a lot of the pressure off trying to aim, which was the same with Chaser as well. I assume it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but. One of the things this game taught me was 
and I've been using this for a lot of different games, but you look when you get to like a boss or some some sort of section you need to learn a strategy for. Start without even like attacking, without even focusing on getting damage in, and just see if you can get to the point where you can um, continue to dodge without taking and that's one of the nice things about these chaser weapons, is you don't have to think about aiming. Uh, Mortimer Freeze and Snow Cult Scuffy. A brawl is surely brewing. Now, right, he's kind of like... He's kind of like the fellow in Adventure Time. Alright, not so good at those. I, they're very reminiscent. Oh, hello. They're very reminiscent of the devil. Oh, then they stick in the snow. It'll be a hot December before I let you be a member. Um, but yeah, they're reminiscent, reminiscent of the little balls that uh, the devil sends out, and I continue to struggle with those even today. Alright, looks like they just go in a straight line and then stick into the snow. And that's, that's what I need to be aware of. So straight line, stick into the snow. You can kill them after they hit. That's not easy, but... And then we've got cards that send in a straight line. Okay, but we can, we can double jump and keep forgetting about that. This is fire in the foreground. I don't think that's important. This is phase two. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, he rolls. Oh wow, this is very ribby, broken ribby. Oh, they go up, okay. And then, but I can double jump over. Okay, that doesn't matter, but the snow signals, the snow signals. Okay. <laughs> that record scratch. The snow signals that the Iron bars are going to come up, the, the spikes, and the cuffs on the other, the, the manacles on the other side of the screen signal that he's about to roll, and I just need to jump over. This one seems much harder than the last boss, but um, iced already, wear puny cuffs in. Uh, but, you know, it seems doable. We're, this is, this is what I was saying. You learn something every time. Yeah, they go in a straight line. They don't even really seem to seek me out. Oh, he has collision. Oh, gosh. Um, all right, first phase, I think we can we can get a pretty good handle on. So I missed the manacles, but maybe we can look for a second warning. Looks like he bends over. I have to really have to watch that. Um, maybe I should duck. Looks like I should duck to hit them immediately instead of waiting for the chase bit to protect them. Oh, it doesn't really seem to matter. Uh, let's save the super for the second phase. Although, second phase, it really seems the problem is a, um, dodging the roll. Okay, he bends over. So I, th I think just double jump is the trick for that one. Okay, the spikes come up. That one's not bad. Alright, I think, I think we got that. Oops, that definitely goes vertical. I didn't know I had five. All 
All right. Second phase is uh, has a lot going on. I love all the little the little things about this game. Like when you parry, you uncontrollably bounce, and so you have to be aware. That that's safe. You, you lose control. Um, and it's the same with using your X. You you actually lose control. Oh, you can you can X and dash at the same time. That's nice. And then maybe oh, sometimes it goes down twice. All right, that's new. Sometimes it goes down twice. How do I know? I'm not sure. As I tell, I just have to be paying attention. But it goes up sometimes, so that's... It really makes you pay attention, because otherwise... Wait to see it again. Uh, but there's, there's another good example of that, like taking away your control. Um, I used my X and wound up hitting something. Alright, so let's think about this. So far, this boss, the double jump, the double jump is quite useful. I assume that the bosses are sort of all designed that um, Cuphead is actually going to be the, the more difficult character to use. Um, I think we're taking most of our damage from rolling attack, so... A great slam and then but... We're also identifying when it's going to happen. So, so satisfying. Right, the thing about these games, you you gain mastery as you play it. And so it's, it's just so rewarding. He dashed into that little fella twice. Um, I don't know what it is about those straight, straight attacks and then sitting in the ground, but um, taking a significant amount of damage from that. Still haven't seen phase three. Um, I gotta remember I can double jump. See, there's a great example. It pops you up, and then I didn't, I didn't think enough about it, and so we hit, we hit the boss. Um, but you know, like having this double jump, having two dashes, you really can avoid a lot of this stuff. It's not, it's not as bad as it seems. All right. Oops. Oh, that's an interesting thing. So the, the the X, I think once it does enough damage, it disappears, and it actually did so much damage that it disappeared before I could parry it. Got to be careful of that. Maybe you can't damage them until they jump out of the ground, actually. I wonder if Chaser would actually be better. I'm not sure what the difference is. Okay. Oh! He started high. He hasn't done that before. So basically, those two moves are disconnected entirely. So you can start high. This is this is interesting because that actually just makes you take your eyes off of him. <clears throat> All 
I keep um, I keep using that, even though it's a vertical attack. But yeah, you have to take your eyes off of him in order to watch where those little ice um, ice pieces go, and then he rolls. This is very very nice. I wonder. I really don't like her super, and so maybe I should change that because. For this particular boss, vertical attack doesn't seem useful in the second phase. I mean, I'm sure you could you could get an attack maybe if he's like jumping over you, but it's not it's not simple. I really like this though. I like the um, I like the X a lot. It's it's got some interesting mechanics. I wonder I wonder if. The manacles have collision. Third phase for the first time. It looks like we've got a climb. Uh, we've got a ghost coming around. Ooh, icicles coming in. And that's... It actually has a long distance, but I feel like we went quite quickly through that. Let's switch our super. So... Okay, it does describe her difference. Summon a familiar from the Astral Plane who will take one hit for you. Unleash. Now I understand why I didn't recognize these. <clears throat> Unleash Miss Chalice's ancient form and launch a spectral bow. I think let's try shield bow. I'm really not using lava. This crack shot's really quite nice. Straight shot with good damage breaks into weaker aim for the attacks. Long range with below average damage and then combine. Let's stick with crack shot because if the straight shots hit, it does higher damage, is my guess. Um, it's one of those things where you could figure you could figure it out. You could look at enemies and see how many attacks it takes. Like uh, little, little little dudes. All right, so what's different? We we now have a super that can block one shot, which maybe isn't great because doing damage is often the, the best thing. But. Probably the most efficient way to use that X is to let it attack for a while and then send it flying. Probably you get more damage, but not really sure. All right, getting getting better at this. It's coming over. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's just a protection. Okay. Well, that that was used at a good time. All right, so not sure where I should be standing. Oh, I see the icicles have um, little tellers before they appear. This just seems to be a, a dodge kind of thing. Whoa. Oh, that was close. That was close. Um, what was I trying to say? A like a shmup. There's all sorts of stuff all over the screen. Here's a real high class belt. Now go.
This one, this one's quite interesting. It feels harder to me than the um, than the mountain boss. Oh, I did it again. That's it's a trap, really. I wonder, I wonder if it's actually doing damage or if it's actually just disappearing, failing. Oh, he did a double roll. Really gotta watch that roll. That roll is probably my weakness. I'm liking the first phase. It's quite simple. Still not trivial. Probably should be saving that second phase. Um, having sort of studied, whoa, having sort of studied the speedruns tech. Um, there's all sorts of really interesting stuff about how the bosses work, where sometimes when they, even though they appear to be safe to damage, they're actually immune to stuff, and, and so you don't know how that is on these, on these new bosses. But... Like between phases, for example, Ribby and Croak um, don't take damage. A lot of the fight, even though they look like they do. I wonder if I can get two of these if I use them fast enough. Or if it, or if it disappears, perhaps. He doesn't have collision. Very much uh, rumor honey bottoms. Best to go over that. Oh, that was that was really good. Um, didn't expect that to hit. Thought I could sneak under it. All right, but you know, is, is, isn't isn't that what's great about this? Like you keep you keep getting closer and closer. You can really see improvement. Try to save. Let's try to save X. Super for second phase. Get, get some parries. Um, <laughs> I was I was mentioning it before, but when I played through originally, I, I got I didn't see the point of parries. I didn't even realize it gave you a card, or maybe I did and I didn't think cards were very important. But I get it now. Um, I also had a difficulty with it. I couldn't tell what was pink and what was purple, um, which I still think is a bit of a flaw. Um, not colorblind, but maybe I'm coloredly challenged. Get the X there. Ouch. Okay. You're a decent chance here. I kind of want to maybe get to a place that's on the edge. All right, those things break, so if I can parry them, definitely want to do that. Yeah, 
might go in over that. All right, second boss down. Totally doable in the end. Didn't quite get the A+. Plus. This chalice, all right, ice sugar cubes. And we've unlocked a path down here, so we've got either maybe a plain boss. I'd be surprised if it wasn't graveyard. Oh, hello. Hey, buddy. Can I talk to you? Come on. I feel like this is a puzzle. Do the one in the middle. I don't. Hmm. This is definitely a secret, but I'm not really sure what to make of it. A couple more tries. I'm hoping that like they match. Maybe there's something else in the game we need to look for. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's funny. So we found this coin up here, but I didn't um didn't realize it was a secret. We could have gotten down here without finding those other bosses. Alright. So we'll be on the lookout for like a grid sort of pattern. Um, right, let's try this. Doggone dog fight, the Howling Aces. I do like the, the plain ones. Um, I feel like one of the hardest battles in the game is the... Oh, oh did not expect this. Oh, this is something completely... Oh, wow. All right. So where you are on the plane determines the direction and the speed at which the, the little dude is flying. This is a whole different ballgame. Oh, wow. OK. All right, so there's dogs. It was like a a cute little female dog, and then this brutish flying dog. I didn't quite see the, where she went. Okay. So very much just sort of a dodge dodge stuff section. Oh, they come back. Okay, the bones come back. I didn't I didn't see that before. Alright, he starts firing quite quickly. And then the bones come back. So, very advantageous to parry the bones because it doesn't come back. Uh, see, I thought that was pink. That one's pink. But the other ones are actually red, and, you know, th there's no. Is that pink red color blindness? I think it's just you know, colorly challenged somehow. Oh, the, the letters don't hurt you? Oh, okay, the laser. Oh, oh. Why why aren't they hurting? Oh. <laughs> this is confusing. Oh boy. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. 
Okay. This is something. Seems like the first phase is probably the hardest. Uh, it's very long. Uh, all right. Always three bands. Always three bands. Always three tennis balls. Oh, that's so funny. There's tennis balls because you throw tennis balls to dogs. Okay, so let's watch the bounce of the, the whoa. Pink uh, can be in any row. Yeah, 20. When it comes to the side, he always throws the yarn. I feel like yarn's kind of a cat's thing, but he does have a cat. Oh, there's two pinks. All right, we need, we need as many of these bonus hearts as we can get. All right, so this, I don't think these letters were doing me, oh. Maybe they just have really forgiving hitboxes. <laughs> I like uh, the time. Oh, am I killing them? Okay, so each one has its own life. This phase actually gets easier. All right. And then this one, really the gimmick is just you, you're going sideways and upside down. I wonder if you can parry that. It seemed like a pink laser. All right, so this, definitely want to jump. OK. All right. Um, Okay, that's that's a little trippy, but I think I I think I've got this one. This one actually seems this is famous last words, but this one seems pretty straightforward. This whole fight. I'm really curious to see if we can stack um, those hearts. Uh, hadn't happened so far, but you can fall off the plane. Which makes sense. All right, this is all. This is all. Cat. He does come to the side to throw bones, so it's either bones or cat. It's quite slow, maybe when he does bones. All right, and now we know the letters do do damage, but you just have forgiving hitboxes. This this section seems very tricky. And it's a good place to get um, honestly you can just grind um, X. Let's see if they double up. Oh they don't. You you get your Okay. Alright, so now I know. All right. Didn't expect there to be two, actually. So that one's pink on the bottom. This one's the hardest. Pink. I really want to turn my head. OK. 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 <laughs> I almost feel like turning my head is cheating. Reds go to the bottom and yellows are above. I think that's the idea. All right. Um, yeah, I was I was just thinking, how do you know whether to jump or not? And the reds the reds are always at the bottom level. Whew. That was a fun one. That was interesting. Didn't seem too difficult. We got the pineapple mint. It's in a dog bowl. Very cute. All right, we've got a cactus over here in the desert. I guess there's going to be a ladder there. Um, what do you have to say? Boo, did I scare you? Nothing I love more than a good ghost on the campfire. Heard word of a ghostly gal. Rough it up, no good varmints around here. I reckon I keep track of exploits myself. I sure love to tell the tale of the villain's veggies vanquished. 
wonder if that's a hint to the ghosts. Just a little over to the right of it. I hear horses. Esther Winchester. High noon hoop. God, what a... All right, now we've got a real a real playing game. Ooh, there's a lot going on here. All right, so let's remember our controls. Oh wow, this is this feels immediately a little overwhelming, but there's no need to be overwhelmed. Things aren't always as they appear. Just have to look at the patterns. The snakes always go to the left, completely to the left. Whereas the ink doubles back on itself. Okay. Sucking. It's kind of messing with the controls a little bit. I guess he needs more ammo. Didn't didn't see what what hit me. Let be let's. It looks like it was a um, phase change. Let's be Frank's here. I'm your worst nightmare. I have to go for some sauce. All right. First impression is that this is the most difficult one so far. But um, boy, there's a lot going on. Okay. All right. We just have to start learning these things. So he or she. Um, the, the rope, okay, the rope pulls the cactus in, so we need to, to dodge that. The bird comes and drops stuff. Can't hit the bird after it disappears. Okay, let go down. Okay. And it drops dynamite, and the dynamite is what's splitting. I hadn't seen that before. So, the things that split is the dynamite. I'm not sure if I can control that. And I think I know what killed me now. It was a pink coin. Um, for some reason, I tried to parry using the, uh, the little plane. Alright. Alright, so ink pistols don't go all the way forward. And I, I can stay in the corner to avoid the... To avoid the dynamite. I'm not sure I can actually kill him before he drops the dynamite. I also don't think I'm hurting the building. Okay, so I really need to hit her. I'm um, not sure where the. Not sure where the cactus pieces are coming. Oh, I did it again. Um, yeah, the, the parry button is the jump button, not the uh, not the dash. Even though, I think that's I think that's what's tricked me is her dash is the parry button. It doesn't work on the plane that way. Now this I actually can't control this, so she just targets, and I I think it's completely lack of control. Um, here's another thing where. I'm not sure if it was red or pink. Um, there's four phases. Boy. So what do we have here? These things, it looks like the sausage is going to go up maybe on the second one. So we'll have to go towards the propeller. I think go towards the propeller is the strategy. A brawl is surely brewing. And we might, we might come back to this one. This one is... Uh, Ah, I see what shoots the cactus now. I mean, it feels doable, but at the same time, um, there's a lot going on. Uh, Wally Warbles is, I, I don't think I quite said it earlier, but Wally Warbles, I think, is the most difficult boss for me. Um, I know 
like most people struggle with the dragon, but and the dragon's ultimately pretty hard. That that phase three, I really really struggled with, but um, but Wally Warp is me. Can we make it to phase three again? Looks like yes. So so that circles. So follow the propeller. That one's pink. Yeah, the pink and red. I can really. I don't know why, but I have difficulty distinguishing. Oh, that was. <laughs> That was a little, little too fair, I think. Uh, almost made to the last phase. But this feels a lot like Wally Wobbles. There's a lot, but there's more going on. Um, definitely want to kill those dudes as they fly in from the right, because they're the ones that shoot the cactus, which I have a hard time seeing. So, but now that I know, and uh, gotta remember to shoot the shoot the cow because the oh, I missed the cows. The, the building doesn't take damage. This phase is simple, but okay, okay, okay. The coins come out of the safes. My guess is that that does a lot of damage because you can't control it. Alright. To hit him, you have to actually get close enough. Oh. Couldn't, couldn't dodge that. I have to put myself there. Now, I think there's another phase. Is that right? Okay, we made it. Hello. Oh, hello. That's something. It's quite interesting, actually. I like it. I like that. Oh, I bet that was so close. This is good. This is good. These, all of these bosses have been, you know, interesting, different patterns to learn. Um, they feel rewarding. No, it's everything I could have hoped for in this DLC. Got a little greedy there. Try not to restart when I take damage early. Um, I think part of it is, I feel like you, you, I often play decently, even when I'm stressed, or maybe maybe more when I'm stressed. But I, I think it's also just like learning things, so it kind of doesn't matter either. I mean, you get the practice, you know. Um, once you know everything, it's a, it's a different, it's a different story. But all right, so this phase is doable. It's not very long. Just have to watch that you don't get trapped. And it's longer than I thought. Oh, he can actually dodge those those X attacks. This max will get red hot. Oh, well, I, for some reason I tried to parry um, the fella. Right. I often feel like he's lassoing 
above and then he lassos below. Is it? It's just a window he's in. Okay. Alright. I'm not sure how I missed that, but. Um, she chooses a window. And I think that's that's what makes it top or bottom. I've prepared y'all a tomb right inside my vacuum. A draw is surely brewing. It's on. Uh, with all the nonsense going on the left side of the screen, I often forget to look at the the cow, who is you know what I need to be looking. At. I, I, I suppose you need to be looking at everything. The first phase, the first phase is a lot going on, but very short. Um, not being able to take advantage of the super, I think is, uh, it's kind of messing with me. I, I was used to being able to build up those extra hits. Um, I gotta think, what is the advantage of using this chalice on this, on this boss? Like, does she have a different, um, X, maybe? Maybe, I mean, I assume, I assume Cuphead's X is still the, uh, Torpedo. Okay. I went for the I went for the parry. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't the right choice. All right. My goodness. Good day for us. <clears throat> Here goes. The the little donkeys that fly through the air have a lot of health. And I often worry uh, I can't quite bring them down before they reach the edge of the screen. And then I'm in a really bad position. Yeah, this is easily the toughest one so far. Sucking part's not so bad, but the the chests I have difficulty with. I'm sure that did damage. I assume there's more damage if you actually hit. These are tough. These these lifty lifts. I struggle with um briny beards lifty lifts as well. So he, he switches up and down. It seems to be all he's doing is going up and down, up and down. I wonder if we can get a hit in. Should have done. Last phase again. This is this one I really like this phase. This is something else. It's close. Oh, that was so close. This last phase, I feel like I'm sort of naturally good at, whereas these first ones need a lot more practice. Um, you know, and that, that's something that happens too. But when my friend played through this game, she really struggled on sections that just sort of came to me, and vice versa. 
I st still to this day find um, find the Sally stage play fight to be quite difficult. And it seems universally on the internet, people find that fight to be like the easiest fight. And I just don't, I just don't get it. Um, and like the train, I've never really found that hard, but people seem to find the train very difficult. Can't parry second time, like immediately. You gotta be careful you don't miss. So I think he only shoots one stake per jump. No, that's not true. Got stuck there. A gal can't enjoy. Can't enjoy. I'm on this piece. We're having that one. Can tend It's always nice when I'm attacking that donkey immediately. Um, to get in a position it seems to take mental effort. Ooh, we're struggling on this one. Maybe we should. Uh, Cactus. Maybe I should just go little when I'm missing. Stay down. If you're on the bottom of the screen, it seems maybe the plan is to stay down to avoid the um, dynamite. Oh, I missed that. It's kind of like Wally Warbles from the normal mode where you can stay in the left hand side and avoid the, the try shots. I want to stay in the middle here. Oh, that was a good hit. All right, doing all right. Let's see if we can get a explosion. Here. Super. All right. Oh yeah, that's that does a ton of damage. I just really want to be like it's safe. I went for the parry just after saying play it safe. All right. The golden touch. I'm not sure what that is. Let's see. Defeat a boss. With one of Miss Chalice's super arts, all right. Um, there, there's a lot of new achievements with the DLC. I was super excited that I had gotten all of the achievements, and now I have to get them again. I this alarms. I'm hoping that it's possible because. Um, I definitely want to. Alright, we're right back to the start. So there's like a cave. Let's see what we got over here. There's this list. Yeah, I thought I had done four. But there is 
like a cave, and then there is a ladder. Also, sort of looks like there might be something over there to the left, but I'm not sure what this is. Yeah. Hail ye cups, I bid thee welcome to my floating palace. I'm the one true king, the king of games. From afar I've seen you battle with zeal and aplomb, and lo, I grant thee a place in my royal tourney. In these bouts, your weapons and charms shan't be of use. You'll have to find different means to best me change from victorious riches, from victories riches. Now into the fray with haste. All right. So no weapons. Lots of things that can carry. Yeah, can't can't weapon, but I can carry each of these. Jump over the bodies, I suppose. Oh, but then they don't. Some of them don't have heads. Okay. Oh man. Oh, this is a lot. All right. Let's see. Can I can I choose to have which one I want? Okay. I got double jump. Okay. Don't, don't think I can. Kind of like juke. I think I just need to watch for the ones I need. Oh, they wiggle. They wiggle when they're about to jump. Alright. Alright, so souls come out. I assume that was round one. You dispatch that champion in so few rounds, brave cups. Time thy reward wealth untold. Alright. I was wondering when we get some more money. Furthermore, I permit the special entry into the next match. I wonder if we could get more money by doing better or not. Alright, num number two, can we go back? Alright, so that was Pawn, this is Knight. Oh, I'm not sure if that's doing damage or if I'm just trying to avoid him. Gotta be real careful. So he's definitely protecting. Okay, so he's taking damage. He's protecting his. Um, What's that? What that's called? Main. On guard. He's protecting his main. Ouch. He does he have collision? His body has collision. Yeah. All right. So we need to look for opportunities that we can. Oh, all right. That wasn't that wasn't an opportunity. I wonder. Alright, you can get two. So maybe like that's that's not safe. Alright, his mask comes off when he does the sweep around. A brawl is surely ruined. Okay. Now go. So what do we want? What what's actually easy to hit? That that one is still took damage. We can we can we can do it sometimes. Here's a real high class bout. Now go. Not sure. Not sure. When it is safe. Kind of seems like everything is damaged. 
to see if you can go from that and swing the sword. Alright, so when he pants, that's safe. Panting is definitely safe. I keep, uh, I keep going for it. Oh, we can get behind him. We can get behind him and get some shots in. Seems dangerous. There's not a lot of room. If I can bait an attack. All right. So. Okay. Don't have a whole lot of time to respond to that. Oh, come, come, my friend. All right. Just because he's, just because he's on the ground doesn't mean he's panting. Alright, this is this kind of kinda does feel like a sword fight. It's not like making swipes. That was that was super greedy. Um that hitbox really grows. Um Just take it slow. Right, okay, the mask comes up when he does that. I, I gotta. Huh? This is, this is really nice. It really feels like sword fighting. You have to like be guarding. Go in for the attacks when he's vulnerable. I feel like he's got it close, but I only have one health left myself. I got greedy. Look at that. Look at that. I thought I could get in <clears throat> under his sword. Alright, well. We know it's doable now. Gotta be real quick to get that to get that one. Get two with that. I'm, I have a hard time distinguishing them, but like my brain thinks it knows which one it is, but I'm not sure. Okay, he pulls back versus just stopping. I'm not sure why I took that, but it worked. We've got three in. I love this um, this violin. It's very um, like Stephanie Grappelli. Kind of gypsy. I'm not sure if he's getting faster. This is my imagination. All right, that was super cool. Very different experience from like the normal bosses.
With this valiant victory, I bestow riches unto thee. And now away with you. Hmm. That's it. I, I really expected more. Uh, but now we have enough for another weapon. Or the ring. Um, rapid fire shot with arced pathway and average damage. I wonder if it, I wonder if it arcs up. Full screen piercing three way shot. Hold block button to nearest bird. That sounds complicated. Let's try this. Boss is sad. There's only one more boss left. Um, well, let's uh, let's keep both of these. So here we go. Moonshine mom and bootlegger boo. Ooh, multi level. Um, yeah. So this goes up. So this would be good in certain circumstances, like right then. How do I get rid of them? Or maybe there is no way to do it. Huh. Okay, they explode. I'm not sure what caused them to explode. Getting close to them? Oh, getting close to them. So much going on, but obviously the first the first time through is always uh, kind of crazy. The dance is over. There's no excuse. You couldn't handle the giggle juice. Um, we didn't get a great look at it, but I think these. These lines of music, my guess is that some of them are going to cause damage and we probably have to rotate around her. Um, in certain colors. Alright, so probably the trick here is to make them blow up as soon as possible to get more space. That guy does not go off the screen and can be destroyed. Okay. Yeah, definitely want to just blow these up as soon as possible. Um, these little fellas in the background, you can see where they're going to be. Okay. Alright, so let's see what she's got going on. So, green is good, and I'm, my guess is that they're going to turn, yeah, so they turn yellow. Oh, hello. So that's trippy. Oh, and she she has collision. <laughs> yeah, she has collision. Okay, all right. So it is as I expected. The red one's hurt. Um, this second phase is trippy. The beams go in opposite directions, and it makes my brain hurt. But uh, seems super doable. Just stay off his level. I think that's the. I think that's what needs to be done with him. Just stay off his level. I'm not sure what hit me there. And you have to step away to avoid getting blown up. And she just dances left and right. I'll tell you, it's another one that would be really tough without Chaser. Uh, what is affected by Chaser? Uh, 
damn right. One thing this nose knows is used cups gonna be pushed up roses. Um, so he sticks his nose, uh, top, medium, or bottom, and tries to fake you out, I guess, because he came in without a tongue and then left and came in. And then eventually he sticks his tongue out. But I think that's all, that's all I was able to learn from that, but it's, it's good. I think his, his, his level is random. We just need to watch and stay away. Stay away from him. This is going to be the toughest for me. But it is definitely doable. You just have to watch which direction you're coming from, that you need to go, that is to say. And, and then watch her. So like we need to go left, and um, she was in the way. Oh, okay. So this is interesting. I had I had thought to myself, if I go to the edge of the screen, it's going to be easier to avoid her. But then you can't move fast enough to avoid the music. So there's a dance that you have to kind of balance those two options. All right, let's see if we can figure out anything here. So, okay, so it goes left and right. I wonder if I could have parried that. It is pink. Maybe I should leave one of them on the screen. He resets them anyway. Alright, first phase, no problem. Pay a little bit of attention. There's not really a whole lot to parry. Um, because I'd like, I'd like to get super to get that extra hit. The music seems to be going in and out. I'm not sure if that's a feature or a bug. Like, does it have something to do with me moving around the, the gramophone. All right. A little, little lick. Oh, oh god. I swear this is getting faster again. Uh, 
I'm, I'm still not sure what, take, what takes damage. Alright. Fly, fly paper. Wait, 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 wait. I thought that this was going to be over. It was an after boss. I, I almost uh, took my hand off the controller. That's all five bosses, which I assume means we have the ingredients to make the ultimate tart. We did it! That was the last ingredient we needed for the wonder tart. Let's get back to Salt Baker. We'll lick it a split. Um, there's definitely a lot to figure out. Like, the, like we need four, five, six, seven more coins we're missing, I think? is looking good. Uh, I feel like he's... I feel like he may be a bad guy. Welcome back, you meddlesome brats. Didn't think you'd be back so soon. No matter, it's too late to stop me now. The wonder talk will be my finest work yet. A shame I never told you about the most important secret ingredient. A living soul! While you suckers were out doing my bidding, I nabbed your when the soul is baked into the Wonder Turk, the cosmic powers of the astral plane will be mine. Mugman, Miss Chalice, you gotta help me. But first, I'll take those ingredients and then I'll use your heads as serving dishes. Alright, so we got a boss fight. Uh, a boss boss fight. Good day for us. <laughs> we got Mugman in the back. Alright, so limes coming in from the side, they're... They are... Oh my goodness, there's a lot going on there. Can't even put words to it. I think they're, they're like boomerangs, they, they kind of come twice. Alright, okay. Ooh, I can go for some animal things too. Right, the limes are coming out again, so... Goes goes to the left, yeah. So they 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 go twice. Not not so bad. The limes aren't so bad. All right, we get our free hit. Oops. We wanted that parry. Hello. Okay. The fire. Okay, so this. Shakers can be killed. The leaves don't have pollution. Maybe? Alright, oh, that doesn't. Uh, why? Why? Why isn't my heart blocking these attacks? Does it only work on the last hit? So, uh, maybe I'm missing something here, but I had a super that was supposed to block an attack and it never blocked an attack. That's either a bug or a mechanic that I don't understand. Maybe just the different boss. Your futile efforts were in vain. This world will be my salt. Um, so... I'm going to try it again, and if the super doesn't block attacks in this fight, maybe because of a bug or maybe because of the mechanic, I'm going to switch, because it seems useless. A great plan but uh, we'll give it another try, maybe it's just a little glitch. Alright, there's definitely a lot going on. But, you know, the double jump and the, um, some, you know, arguably double dash is a big deal. 
I, I think all of these fights are really much more difficult for, for Cupman, Cup, uh, Cuphead, or Mugman. Alright, so, wait. So I thought that would give me my super edge. That was confusing. Oh, hello. Oh. I love that the pepper is sneezing. So. Okay, well that, it works, so it's just a bug, I suppose. The leaves do have collision. I was just, uh, this just very generous collision. I was starting to think that they didn't, and so I took the risk of hitting them. Alright, so this phase, I think we died in basically immediately. We have to avoid where this comes down. Ah, okay, yeah, and then the thing on the ground. So this seems like a very quick phase, and then there's a last one. A great slam I noticed that he cuts up the lines before they... Okay, so they all have like little tells. The sugar cubes is that thing. All right. First phase is... Um, it's a lot. Strangely, out of all of these attacks, the fire messes with me the most. And I wonder if it's just a mental thing, like, you shouldn't be hit by the fire, it's so simple. You know, it's, it's one of those things, like, these, these traps we, we do to ourselves. Um, where it's, you know, it's all in your head and you think, oh! <clears throat> you know, I should feel bad for getting hit by the fire. It's kind of, it's kind of the idea. But, it is... The second phase isn't so bad. Killing these bottom salt sh uh, pepper shavers. And this one, uh, this one has been rough. Alright, alright, now, now I have a much better feel for it. Uh oh. Alright, there's nothing to take damage. Do I have to climb? Yeah, I do. I wonder if I can carry. Don't want to find out. It's not exactly Bob Ross to. Uh... Oh, to call out. Ooh. Compliments to the chef. Complete your quest on Inkwell Isle 4. Oh no. Oh, so good. I mean, it, it, 
uh, it really fit in with the rest of the game. Doesn't feel like filler. Fantastic bosses. Come in! Thank goodness you're okay. Oh, desperate salt baker. He had us hoodwinked the whole time. And now she's dead again. Get Zooks! This place is coming down! Let's get out of here! Oh, oh my baker! Serves him right for duping us. But with the bakery destroyed, you're never gonna get that Wonder Tart chalice. Huh. <sighs> That's okay. If some poor soul has to be sacrificed for me to live again. It just ain't worth it. And mark my words, boys. I'm never gonna stop searching. In the meantime, if you ever find yourselves in a scrape, I'm just one cookie bite away. Besides, who needs a Wonder Tart when they can have the two new best pals instead? Oh. I wonder if these are like concept arts. <laughs> no, it's really telling a story. All right, so the so he goes in front of the judge. So, uh, wants to serve community service. Grow food for the giant. Brush the teeth of the whale. It's sad that his baby is gone. Serving food for the cow person in their selling. Working on a plane. I feel like if there's anything that I, I mean, I, of course, I want more. I want, you know, hours and hours and hours, 100 more hours. But if there's anything I really felt like was a little weak was the two fights with the king. I feel like there could have been three easily, maybe five, you know. Um, I feel like those were quite interesting, right? Like in the base game, you had the mausoleums and they, they were pretty boring because they were basically just parry ghosts. And and ultimately the king's fights were parry fights, but they were much more interesting than the ghost. Alright, see let's see what happens when we finish the uh... So much music. It's so good to like wooden. Um, you know, like the best of game music, so you want to listen to it even when you're not playing the game. It's hard to imagine that there would ever be another another DLC. <laughs> Oh, hello. Um, you know, this is called The Last Course. 35%? I suppose it doubles because you beat it on Expert. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna take another little peek, maybe if we see something, um... to jump right into, but probably we're gonna be heading off soon, so... This was the tutorial. For her abilities. Um, we're missing a lot of coins, so you know, like there's definitely stuff to find. Can we do expert yet? How does expert unlock? So we'll have to go through all of these on expert. Let's try one. What, what was the? Oh, they're these guys. Yeah, we never really did anything with them. Um, 
Well, I was complaining. And look what we have here. Uh, this game, you know, it's just... It knows. It knows. It knows just what it needs. He the new challenger. Let's just be on that door. All right, let's do it. Let's. I think this would be the last thing. No. Last thing I do before. I do it. All right. So some more pairing. Do the do the candles have collision? They do not. But the bells do. Candles. Do not see the headboard. Uh, you maybe need to put the candles out. Ah, uh, you put the candles out, and the bell turns into um, hittable. And okay, you just need to touch it. Okay, this is this is a lot. You just need to touch the thing. Oh. Um, those aren't bells. I think that's called a sensor. I think it's for like burning incense. Which, now that I say that out loud, I feel like I'm making this up, but I think they're called sensors. Ooh, this one's tricky. So we've got Bishop. So I assume it's going to be all the chess pieces. Um, two. got to be, when he disappears, you got to be careful where he's going to reappear. That seems to be the trickiest thing. Also the bells. The bells appear from his hands? Okay. This is doable, but this is tough. I don't see where that's appearing from, or, or really why it's disappearing. I guess that marks the phase change. Like sometimes it disappears and sometimes it doesn't. So phase change. I don't know how to avoid it when it reappears though. I think um, these things I'm calling sensors. I think they once they start moving, they go towards where you are when they start moving, and then it's just a straight line. I don't think there's they track you. They just the ones. Okay, I did, didn't see that. Which means that the they don't always appear. In his hands. Oh, they kiss shot out of his mouth. Okay, alright, now I see where they're coming from. They get shot out of his mouth. That's why I keep getting hit. And this must be the last phase because all the candles are lit. All right. And we've got a pipe organ. Oh my God, the design is so fun, so perfect. Again, on Zephyr's wings, you flew through that clash. A reward, wealth and joy. Right. Furthermore, I permit the special entry to the next match.
Okay. Um, I'm going to end the video here and um, probably continue quite soon. But um, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time.